Hey guys, welcome to another video. Uh, yesterday, it was a beautiful day. The sun was out, it was dry. Um, I was at work, today I'm off, and as you can probably see, it's raining at the moment. Uh, it is supposed to dry up later, um, but there's lots of stuff I need to get done the Morris Minor, so I'm gonna be out in the garage until it's good enough to get the, uh, the car back out on the drive. Let's see what we can do. Well, here she is. Um, take the notice of the bonnet stay at the moment. Um, but uh, the plan today, hopefully, what I would like to do is try and get this um, <clears throat> front panel stroke radiator grille sorted. Uh, as you can see, I have started um, taking some of the fixings off. There's not a lot holding it on at the moment. But the um, cooling fan, as you know, the vehicle has a different cooling system. It's got a Volkswagen Lupo radiator. It's got an aftermarket um, electric cooling fan. Uh, the cooling fan's actually mounted to the back of the grill, so I'm not sure how that's got to come off. So I've got to find the wiring for that and disconnect it. We're gonna get rid of these hideous uh, indicator lamps and put something on. Um, they're not the exact ones for the year, but something that looks a bit more period. Um, and also, hopefully, once it's painted, get all my uh, trims on, the little hockey sticks going up the side here and the top radiator trim. Um, there are a couple of things I need to do as well. Um, this really annoys me, the fact that this part of the panel is hanging down lower than the grill, just here. So I'm gonna get this trimmed off and the same on the other side. I think it's just where the radiator panel's been butchered to make that rad fit. Um, but I wanna get this all cleaned up, um, take this off and basically get this prepared and hopefully painted today. Um, I've got a little bit of mucking around today because the girls have got to go and have their hair cut so I am whizzing out shortly to drop them off and then I'll have to go back later to pick them up. Um, but I'm hopefully during that time going to get my new lights wired up. I'm going to nip into work and just um, make up some connections for the new lamps. Um, let me just show you the bonnet a moment. Now, as you will recall, I repainted the bonnet not long ago. I went and polished the paint and particularly uh, an area just up around here, somewhere around the hinge when I was polishing, I'd gone through to the primer again. So the paint that's on the bonnet wasn't thick enough. Um, I've pretty much run out of cellulose. I haven't got a great deal left. But what I did do, I thought, let's just see if we can do something cheap and cheerful with the bonnet. I went to um, the pound shop and bought a tin of, <coughs> excuse me, tin of aerosol gloss black. And I've masked up half of the bonnet and painted it with it. You can see where I've been sort of polishing the bonnet around here. Um, but I've masked up half of the bonnet and repainted it with a cheap tin of aerosol paint from the pound shop. Um, cost £2.50, nothing costs a pound anymore in the pound shop. Um, so basically I've gone back and got some more. I will show you it now. So this is the paint, uh, black gloss for the perfect finish, car pride spray paint. Um, and basically I'm going to, hopefully, before I go and get the, the girls off to the groomers, I'm gonna get this side of the bonnet paint, uh, masked up, cleaned off, and then hopefully I can get a bit of paint on that before I go and that can be drying whilst I'm away. So uh, I'm gonna get involved in that now. <coughs> Right, I've got about 15 minutes, I believe, before I need to leave with the girls. So, that's time to get a bit of time on here. And we'll see how it comes up. I've just cleaned this off with some uh, window lean, which is apparently quite good for cleaning surfaces before you paint. I probably shouldn't have rubbed that with my hand, but there's a little bit of dust in the this. Remember, all I really want is for this to be black and shiny. I'm not looking for a you know, body shop finish at all. 
um, and I've, obviously I've run out of cellulose, so I just need to get it done quickly. Um, it's been quite an expensive time, so I had to buy a new grinder, a new drill, and just want to get some colour on this really. <laughs> so here we go, let's see what happens. Right, there we go, so that's that painted, a um, little bit orange peely. Never mind, we will give it a, uh, a, a little bit of teacup and some polish later. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna nip out now, take the girls for their haircut, and I'll see what it looks like when I come back. So I'm back from dropping the girls, I'm just waiting for the call to go and pick them up. So this is the other half of the bonnet. As you can see, it's bloomed a bit here, where, uh, where it's quite, cold and damp I think but I'm hoping that will polish out otherwise the finish is pretty good I mean if it comes to it and I need to sand it back and stick another tin of paint over it for £2.50 then so be it but uh, yeah that's where we're at at the moment I've just started to wire up the new lamps to go in the grill because those awful little horrible things are coming out um, and then I will I will hopefully be able to get the grill off, grill off shortly, but um, yeah, I'm just waiting to hear back, just get the message to let me know the girls are ready to pick up and then I'll be shooting off out again, so can't do too much at the moment. So I'm just wiring up these lamps. Um, I think these are new old stock, I don't think they've ever been used. My mate Owen picked me up these from, um, from uh, an auto jumble. I've got the bezels and the lenses and the rubber gaskets. There's a rubber gasket there. I've got everything to, to do what I need. Um, but on these ones, they actually had um, a little bullet connector that pushed through here. And you used to push the wire through the back of the bullet connector um, and then sort of double back on yourself so the wire's actually going through here and then back through this clip. Um, unlike the sort of more modern ones here that you crimp on the wire, um, you wouldn't be able to crimp them on these because oh, I can, it, it would stick out past the side of the, the bulb holder and you wouldn't get the, the rubber gasket back on. So what I've had to do, this one's got the original bullets, which is fine. The other one didn't have. So I've actually cut the tops off of two of these um, and used them in the same way that you would use the originals. So I'm just going to get those wired in and I'll show you what I mean in just a moment. 
So there we go, that's how they fit in. Um, I will just angle the wires up and just wrap a bit of tape around the, around the base just to hold everything together before I put the rubber gasket back on. But uh, yeah, that's how it goes. I'm gonna have stop and tail lamp bulbs in here so that will do the side light and the indicator. So they are, uh, I think they're Lucas 380 bulbs. There's one that I've already, the other one's all ready to go in with its 380 bulb in. And I've just got to connect the other end to the wiring that's on the car. Um, the one that's already here is an indicator only and the side lights have been put into the headlamps, which you can't see just yet. It's got those halogen style headlamps on it. So I'm going to wire the side lamp back into the grill um, where it used to be just to make it look a bit more period really. So there we go. I'll get them sorted and we'll have the front grill off shortly. Right guys, we're back at it. It is Tuesday evening, um, back out in the garage. Um, I've done quite a few repairs to the grill. You may have seen the car earlier with the grill off. Done quite a few repairs. It was quite rotten along the bottom. So uh, a couple of little welding repairs just to tidy up the bottom edge. I've um, given it a quick flat back and um, we're gonna be ready for paint shortly. Um, I've also painted the, <clears throat> excuse me, I've also painted the core of the radiator because as you, as you know it's got a Volkswagen Lupo radiator, really shiny aluminium core um, and then obviously because of that you could see through the grill the core of the rad and also the cooling fan which didn't look at all period, it looked sort of quite boy racerish. so I've, uh, I've actually sort of blacked that all out. Um, I've just painted the grill in a bit of primer, had a quick flat down and uh, painted that in a bit of primer, put some new screws in the bottom. Um, yeah, so it's getting ready for paint on the front of the grill. I will show you that shortly. And there she is, looks a whole bunch different now. Um, you see a little bit of overspray on the, uh, on the cooling fan. I've got my top chrome molding on but it's masked up just for now. Um, I'm hoping to get this painted tonight and that's as much as I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna put the little hockey sticks on tonight, but if I can get the grill painted in gloss, that would make me very happy. Um, got a little heater on it, as you can see there. The garage is a bit of a state. <laughs> I did it once again. I'm forever tidy in the garage. I did a little job for one of the neighbors um, the other day. Uh, yesterday evening actually so when I finished I just chucked all the tools in here it's a bit of a mess so I'm never tidy up while this paint's drying and then in a moment I'll be able to go over it with a bit of black gloss and see how it turns out well I've run out of paint again so I've got to get some more I will pick up some more tomorrow but I think you get the general idea it's starting to look quite nice um, I need to get the rest of this grill painted um, and obviously get my little chrome hockey stick trims on the side and then we can move on to the next bit I guess after we will be looking at fitting the front bumper um, front bumper is up in the roof space of the garage I've got the rear one also to do um, but yeah it's starting to come together quite nicely um, see how we get along once uh, once I've got some more paint and I've got this finished and the trims on I will show you again later but in the meantime um, a few little minor mentions for you um, let's see how Carl is coming along with his traveler based pickup and a few others Carlos 69 pinstriping um, I just thought it was a really quick walk around of my budget Morris pickup that I've got about just shy of a grand tied up in so far. Um, one that we rescued from a garden was destined for the scrap hoop. As you can see, she is so much better than that now. Um, literally everything done on a budget, everything re purpose from the original traveler um so there you are 
little bit of fun. Thank you very much, Moggy guys. See you out there. Cheers. And another little nice 68 two door. Um, this is actually Terry 4822's vehicle. Um, he's a friend of Carlos 69 pinstriping. Um, yeah, and this is a lovely little Moggy. I'm loving the, the big and little mini lights on this one. Um, looks really nice from the back here, as you can see with those uh, chunky tires. And uh, really cool from the front with the visor and the tiny little side lights. Beautiful. Well, as they used to say on Monty Python, now for something completely different. And this is uh, Sean, uh, crazy dude gone mad, which uh, never a truer word spoken, I'd say. <laughs> Sean uh, has a quite a selection of old uh, Mor uh, Morris's, not miners, obviously, but old Morris vehicles. Um, he's putting together a, a, a rat rod, also uh, possibly a drift car as well. There's uh, uh, an Audi uh, body swap going on with one of these old shells, which is quite interesting. Um, yeah, so a bit of uh, rat rodding, bit of drifting, bit of everything really. Uh, Sean's a really lovely guy. I had a chat with him on the phone the other night and he sent me a few clips of uh, bits and pieces he's up to. So uh, yeah, check out Sean, crazy dude gone mad. Um, I feel there's going to be some uh, some wicked old Morrises here hitting the uh, hitting the tarmac in the not too distant. But yeah, there we go. Um, a few crazy projects on the go from Sean. Check him out. Thanks ever so much for uh, watching the video, guys. Um, if you want to be included in um, another Moggy mentions uh, at some stage, just drop me a clip. But uh, there we go. We're still we're still looking at some of Sean's crazy stuff he's got going on. Thanks ever so much. I will see you in the next video. Uh, my little Moggy has progressed a bit further, but you'll see soon.